see that recipe accident. Now I'm going to put in some white vinegar. Okay. And I'm probably putting, oh, well, it's worth for one, um, an eighth of a cup, maybe. And then I'm going to take some um, fine sugar. And I'm going to put about a quarter cup in there. Oh, oh, this is my secret. This was, this is my mother's secret. And this was my great grandmother's secret. Okay. Celery seed. Yep. Right in here, right in the mixture. You guys, it hasn't gotten out of the fifties here today. The app lied. It lied again. Okay. And so let's mix this all together nice and good. Celery seed, it just steps it up. You know, it just takes it from, from here to here, in my opinion. Oh, boy, we don't. You know, that's what I get for trying something new out. So, but that's okay. I'll just um, keep trying till it works, you know. Um, third ad so far. Dang it. <laughs> well, that's it. Three ingredients. Cree, that is it, sweetheart. And, um, oh, let me put it, let me taste this. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay. And my other bowl. I need a nice carrot. And it's a carrot for one. Carrot for one. So I'll just take one carrot. Okay. Where are all my peeler? Okay. So you guys, I thought that I was going to have this great, is that the leaky bowl? No, I got rid of the leaky bowl. <laughs> because... Kath said, um, uh, I think it was Uncle B or something, that said, oh, do we need to get you some new bowls? And Kath said she has some new bowls. She just won't get rid of that one. And um, so I decided to prove her wrong. Now I love me some Kath. You guys, Kath is not doing well. So please keep her in your prayer. She's not feeling well. So... But I appreciate you guys being here. And that that really um, it does matter, though, if, if um, you set it up ahead of time. And if you just go live on the fly, it, it's hard. So, but anyway, I'm shredding my carrot. Okay. Okay, I have to be very careful here, you guys. Because Michael Jackson is not with me. Hold on. Yes, it is a good opportunity to use a food processor. But you know what? It's just a small little coleslaw. It's just for me. It's just for me. So, And you know what? It gives me a little bit more time to talk to you guys. How's that? Uh huh? Yeah. Um, no, I don't think she is. I think she's probably sleeping. Um, I haven't heard back from her from the hurricane yet. She lives in South Carolina. She's not on the coast, but they had, um, when I talked to her last time, their powder, power, out, power outages were uh, 14 hours 
and um and that was the just the day that uh, day after it came on shore so um yeah so chopping board on lazy susan that would drive me nuts no creek dog no i'm gonna do a hack for that you watch watch this Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Cree Dog, what you do is you get a wet paper towel. Thank you for reminding me. But if you're car free, I've learned that if you put a wet one, it will stay even better for you. And I learned that from this hack. I've been studying these hacks, you guys. I have a million of them. And so that baby's not going anywhere. Ugh. <laughs> How's that? I think it is a terrific hack. But now I got my stuff too far away from me. Come back here. Come Come back to me. Come back to me. Okay. So now I'm going to take some cabbage. Nice. I know I do too. I learned that. Okay. Let's get these icky leaves off because that's just gross. Okay. And I am saving. I'm saving my vegetable um, uh, what do you call those? My, I'm saving my vegetable shards, you guys, as if you noticed, to make a vegetable um, uh, not a bouillon, but a um, what is that called? Ah, um, it's, um, I forgot what it's called. Somebody stock. Thank you. Thank you. Car free. Yeah. Stock. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm saving these for. And at the end of the week, I will make my stock and then I will, um, freeze it. Yeah. So Accident, it's always good to see you back. I'm glad you sleep and wake up in time just to see me. <laughs> okay. You guys, let's cut off some of this. And should we shred it or I think we should shred it. Up, oh, neat. Where's my Michael? There's my Michael Jackson protection glove. <laughs> you guys, hey, I made this hat this morning that was thank you, broth. Yes, I do. I have a food processor. Yes, I just haven't, uh, I just didn't bring it out for this, but yeah, I have one, and um, I have a little mini food processor, and I love it so. But why not shred? Why not do it the old-fashioned way right now? Because it's just for me. It's just for one. I'm cooking for one now. Okay. Well, since my iPhone is around, I guess I could turn it in so that I can see the, the chat better, huh? Okay. That's all for you. <laughs> Into the washer. Oops. I'm having a great time, you guys, being on my own. I'm loving it. <laughs> I am absolutely loving it. But my dogs have me on a strict schedule. Where did here it, here it is? My dogs have me on a strict schedule. Yes, it's um, anytime they want to wake up. Yeah. So, yeah, I have, I have, 
some bacon. Uh, well, last night I made myself a cob salad because I had some um, deviled, or not deviled eggs, but um, hard boiled eggs from one of the hacks I did. So I had to use some of those. So I used that and, um, and I have a couple more and I think I might make some egg salad with them. Yeah. Kathy, Kathy, how did you do that? You made it live. Atta girl, I'm glad you did. Okay, so now let's add our little sauce that we made up and I think I want a little more celery seed in there because I like celery seed. And here it is, not too much. Okay, too much celery seed and then you're in trouble. Okay. Well, you know what? It probably could use a little bit more cabbage. So let's come back here. Come back to me. Okay. Cab or uh, coleslaw is always better the next day. Always. So why not make a little bit more? It won't last that long around here. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how um, to work the camera so that I can um, use that to go live because um, YouTube will only allow it to be live um, vertical if you're using a... Uh, any mobile device. So that's that, kids. Okay. And oh, I need to take out, I need to take something out. Da -da. La, da, da. Here you are. Oh, I don't know if you'll be done in time. Um, let me put it in some water because I really want to show you guys these. Um, yeah, if we have time. So let me put it in some water. This will be good. I'm still singing Dance Monkey. I've been saying it for two weeks now. Two weeks. Yes. Dance from me, dance from me, dance from me. Oh. Dance from me, dance from me, dance from me. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, Dawn, how is it? Hey, DZ. Hi, DJ. Uh, well, you know what? I'm making pork cutlets with it. And, yeah. I'm cooking for one, so it's my choice of what I want. And so, you know what? I um, did a couple shorts with um, uh, okay, we'll try that and see if it'll unthaw. I did a couple shorts with unthawing some meat um, yesterday. I did one short with I'm throwing a couple pieces of meat yesterday. And so I um, am making some cutlets out of those. And um, I like um, some coleslaw on top. That's, that's something I like. Yeah. So, um, and then uh, if it works out, I'm going to have some potato rings also. I forgot to take out the thing. So I might, you know what? I just might have, instead of potato rings, I might show you that, those tomorrow. So I'll keep on throwing them. But maybe I made some, I did a short of how to make some French fries. And I have a serving. I can, I can use those. Knock it till I try it. 
You know what, DJ? I tell you what, you would, if you tried it a little bit on top of, say, if you're going to make a sandwich, uh, put on your pork cut, pork cutlet, put a little bit of coleslaw on it, and then take a bite. You can thank me later. You can thank me later. <laughs> yeah. And, um, oh, I. <laughs> I guess I should stir this while we're talking, huh? And so, but I do make a co good coleslaw. And it's um, just, it's a little bit much for Cree. It's more than three ingredients, but um, it's really good. Okay. So, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Since it's a party of one, I can put in some more celery seeds. So I'm going to do just that. <laughs> it is not easy to cook for one, but you know what? With Tony's is the bomb. Hey, fries with calamity is a better bomb. I shouldn't say that word. Is it better? Bang! Oh, I shouldn't say that word either. Is it better? Boo! Yeah. How about that? <laughs> hey, train girl. I just got banned on my other account, Metrolink fan one. Oh, Metrolink, you're getting. I didn't ban you. Um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, are you, are you, um, you mean banned from my channel? Oh. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to move on because I kind of don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So we're going to let this set and soak. Okay. And this is exactly how it looks. It looks delicious. It looks like I want to jump in and go. So... Let me set this in here and it can marinate for a little bit. Now, oh, let's put this in the, because on Friday, like I said, I'm going to make some chicken or some vegetable stock. So I've been keeping my, um, my veggie leftovers in here for the week. And so, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Oh, oh. Alrighty. Here we go. Alrighty. One thing is, I'm a messy cook. That is for sure. I wish I was not, but you know what? I'll own it. I'm going to own it. I am a messy cook. Yeah, but that's okay. Okay, you hang out over there. And let's get the floor clean. You guys have um, a board scraper or a counter scraper? I love this thing. I have like six of them. And you know what? I think I would I would marry it. I don't know any time that I haven't used this one or this um, gadget. I highly recommend them. And I'm not getting paid to say that. Hey, um, uh, DJ, I have a question for you. Um, hey, uh, could you put, uh, could you guys put DJ's, um, link in the chat um and like i said most of my views are uh afterwards but um i usually get some pretty good views i don't get a good views like you guys like the live streamers do you know you guys are out there for hours and hours and hours and i'm just here for dinner <laughs> yeah so all right now i'll do the pork cutlets Oh, I gotta get them out. 
Okay. These are my two thin cuts. Okay. Can you guys see it okay? Thank you. Um, uh, Nikki, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm missing the chat. Used to go to the Bar Grill spot in Omaha. Pork fritters were huge. It was the home of the porker. <laughs> that is funny. That's actually very funny. You know, I thought about um, doing one, you know, making like, um, you know, little um, uh, bites, you know, because those are always fun. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll make a sandwich. And so I, I don't know what I'll make. Maybe I'll make one of either. Yeah. I think I'll make one of either. Okay, but this is what I got to do. Get my paper towels. Oh, okay. Almost two weeks ago, I did this video on, um, let me show you, on the salt and um, how to add fragrance to it. And when you stir it up, the fragrance comes right out. And you guys, my, my whole, and this is a big room in here. Um, uh, it smells like, um, like fall. It's really nice. Okay. Let me get another board. Cause I don't like having raw meat on that board. So anyway, um, but yeah, so the algorithm is changing and um, I think it's a pain in the butt, um, but it is designed for small channels like me. You know, it's designed for um, channels from 500 to 500,000 and they call those small channels. So um, with a small channel, really small channel like me, um, I've got to do what I can to be thrown out into the algorithm so we can get into some new friends. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my, my gloves. All righty. Okay. Um, hi, Jethro. I responded to your um, uh, to your comment, that one comment. Did you get it? I hope you did. Um, sure is nice having you here. Sure is nice having all of you here. Every time I see your name, I always think that would be an awesome restaurant named Nikki. Oh, hey, Mocking Jay. Love the hacks. Thank you. I've been loving them too. I'm having a ton of fun with them. I really am. Okay, let me get these out of their little homes. <laughs> and then um, I do miss. Um, I, I do, I did really screw up and not um, list this right. I'm really upset at myself about that, but you know, that's okay. So, okay. So now we've got them dry on both sides, right? Sure do, calamity. Boom, boom, the other white meat. Alrighty. So, hey, we're going to put, we're going to do a, um, we're going to vote on this. One, schnitzels. Two, but like bites, like, um, uh, make, uh, like chicken nuggets, but um, with these. Hi, Kath. Are you here? Your Kath is here? Oh, gosh, we were just talking about you. Cree, that's not fair. How are you doing, Kath? Do you have power? 
Um, yes, it was only about 14 hours. Yep, that cat, that's what I was telling them, is it, that it was a 14-hour thing. But, um, yeah, we're doing streaming off my laptop because I tried a new camera, and, well, it did, just didn't work. Right. I did something wrong. So, anyway, so, um, yeah, you guys, okay, one, keep them and do a schnitzel as, with them, or number two, um, you know, Go ahead, it's back on for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, do, I'm glad you're doing well, Kath. I really am. Okay, Nikki Noodle says one. Schnitzel, Don says schnitzel. Okay. Jane wants bites. Okay. And um, a lot of people aren't going to answer. That's okay. So you know what? How about we do one of each? Okay, we'll do one of each. So you guys, as this comes to a room temperature, I'm going to heat up some oil that I have on the stove. Okay, and I don't want a big cleanup at all. Yeah, nice, it is three, that's both. <laughs> but we're gonna do both. We're gonna do both. Okay. You guys, this will be the easiest cleanup of your life, okay? Get a nine by 13 dish. Line it with tin foil so that it lines the bottom, you know, okay? Now, here comes a little tricky part, but it's worth it. Okay, so we're just lining it just like this. Just like this, okay? There's, you know, no magic trick to it. Then I'm going to get a piece of tin foil that is... Um, about twice the length. Twi uh, uh, that's loud. It should be about twice the length. Okay, now fold it in thirds. My neighbor, Chef Brad, saw this and he was like, that's genius. I'm going to have to do that. Hey, Albert, how are you doing? Good to see you, sweetie. Okay. Okay, the heater just came on in time for my hot flash. One moment, I gotta turn it off. Oh, oh let me move that. Okay. You wanna go out? Go <laughs> oh, out. Oh. Have a great time. <laughs> okay, we'll let her barky bark. Okay, so I fold it in thirds. Get my pan back over here. Okay, the parts that, that have the crease, you got, you're going to want that to be on top. Put a layer down in the pan and keep that folded and make a divider. Okay. Okay. I'll show you again. I'll, I'll bring it up to you. So do the same thing with this side. Okay. 
then the goal is for you to have three equal dividers. Okay, just like this. You see I have three equal um, um, area one, area two, and area three. Okay, um, just saw a report, big fire in Big Bear. Oh no, we have a family cabin up there. Um, is it by the resort? I hope not. You guys, the winds have been blowing terribly here. We've been under a red flag alert and of course my anxiety goes through that roof right up there. It's a big one. It's two miles from there. Great. Just great. I better call about, about it. You're worried about Area 51? <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to put some panko chips in one area. Whoops. There we go. Okay. I saved this can because I like to make my own panko chips. Pankos are very expensive. Yeah. Needs my hat. Needs your hat. What do you mean it needs your hat? You're a silly one. Okay. And let me get some flour. So on my side ones, I have flour, panko, and in the middle will be my um, eggs. And you know what? Speaking of, oh gosh, Gracie. Over here, Gracie. You know how it is. I, my dogs roll me. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Come on, you. <laughs> yeah, also, and earthquakes. Oh, earthquakes. It's the line fire still going since, it, okay, it flared up big time the other day and we got tons of smoke yesterday. Oh, Haxon, I bet you did. I bet you did. So it's still the same fire. You know, when, um, when we had our big fire, it, um, well, we were evacuated for seven weeks in all. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Moon Ridge and Sugar Loaf. Okay. Yeah, I know exactly where Moon Ridge is. And I know exactly where Sugar Loaf is. So that's going to be Sugar Loaf. If you keep going east, you're going to run into accident. Yeah, he's over that way. Irwin Lake. Okay. Ask how you make panko. Oh, panko. It's very simple. Is you have a loaf of bread and you put it through the food processor and then you lay it flat and let it dry. And then boom, you've got panko. Yep. Did you get that, sweetie? Is empty in here? I didn't see empty. Oh, uh, Albert, my anxiety is so high already. Uh, okay. So now I've got to flavor this big time. Yeah. Three ingredients. I think I can do that. Yes, you can. Hi, empty. Yes, you can. Three ingredients. Well, if you want to spice, um, you need to spice up your um, flour real good. And if you want to do it with just um, salt and pepper, that's fine. I like to do mine. I like to do mine up. So, 
I'll put that there. So let me get my measuring spoons out. Oh, dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Oh, honey. Dance with me, dance with me, dance with me. Dance with me. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Okay, this is a half a teaspoon because it's a party of one. <laughs> but I put in a lot of flour for a party of one. So that's okay. So I'm going to one teaspoon of thyme. Okay, a teaspoon of parsley. And I am, you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow my spices. Yes. Okay. A hint of sage. A very small hint, like, like a quarter teaspoon. Because, you guys, sage is very potent. But it's very good. If you use it, um, if you use it time... Time is real. Yes. Yes, I've got the foil in three in increments. Now, so what this is like the old song. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Yeah, so we got those three ingredients. You can remember that. Of course, some paprika. So I want a... Teaspoon of paprika, because we know that that's my favorite spice. And if I ever had like a cafe or anything, uh, its name would, would be paprika. Yeah. And of course, some granulated garlic. And, uh, oh, oh, I put it in the wrong one. That's okay. Let me get a different one. Okay. Gosh, that smells good. Half a teaspoon of that. Um, this one I used a regular paprika. Yeah, I'm out of smoked paprika, which is my preference. But that's um, so. Now, if you don't choose to, if you don't have a mortar and pestle. Or, um, or if you choose to do it another way, take your spices, make sure your pan is screaming hot, and then um, uh, for about 10 seconds, and then take them off the, the heat. I prefer to do this. And so the mortar and pestle, it is an old, very ancient way of blooming spices. And what that does is it uh, causes the oils. The, there's enough friction in there to cause the oils to come out and um, be a better flavor. And you can smell that when it's done, when you smell it, like now. Oh, man. Okay. So... I'm going to take this and I'm going to take and put, oh, that's my leveler. And I'm going to say, no, Gracie, let me let Gracie out. She's got to, got to see what's going on. Come on, Gracie. I don't know what her problem is. Oh, well. Okay. You were married to that song. Oh, I'm sorry. You got a bunt cake commercial? I have a bunt cake um, mold. Ooh, maybe we can do bunt cake this. Maybe we'll do a bunt cake. Do you ever use liquid smoke? I used it on a bunch of stuff last. Some um, turned out, others not so much. I, I, I've used it occasionally, not too much. Um, I have used it on turkey. 
and it came out delicious. But um, uh, very sparingly do I use it. I don't, I don't know if I have any more. As a matter of fact, that's how much I use it. That's right, Haxon, and she's a yap yapper. Yeah, like me. Okay, and now I want to put some fresh cracked pepper in there. The reason that I don't put it in here is because this is uh, making it absolutely fresh. And so there's no need for it. Okay. And then where'd it go? Where are you? Here you are. My next thing I'm going to use, not yet, Nikki, not yet. It's warming up to room temperature. Next thing I'm going to use is Redmond salt, real salt. Yeah, and it's a pink salt. And it's from, not from the Himalayas or from the south of France. It's from Utah, the Salt Lake area. And those, those pink things in there are minerals. And this salt actually, it doesn't have a bitter taste um, like a regular iodized table salt does. It has kind of a buttery taste. I love it. And um, so um, if you go up to my link tree up at the top, uh, there is a Redmond salt link or um, Streamlabs has it there for you. If you put in um, uh, at the checkout, two words, calamity coupon, you'll get 15% off. And that is um, not good for just one time. It's good indefinitely. And we've been having subscribers uh, uh uh, actually purchase it and I've been getting emails back on how much they love it mm -hmm. and so they have quite a variety of different things uh, to choose from so but I like to make my own spices you know you know how I am okay let's mix this up so that won't hurt anything Okay, and baby, oh baby, I love your way every day. Okay, I have a question. Lucerne Dairy Farms, I have a question for you. This says that it is... 18 extra large, or uh, I'm sorry, 18 large eggs, correct? Yeah. Then how come I've got, where did it go? Here we go. There it is. How come I've got a large egg and a small egg? You guys see this? Well, let me get them completely even. But can you guys? Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Come back. Come back to me. Uh, okay, here we are. We're back. We're good. It's all good and fine and dandy. And this is just gonna go over here. <laughs> and let me just clean um, this little thing up here. <laughs> I dry all the sugar. <laughs> you guys, it's, all, it's always a calamity with me. That's why I'm calamity girl. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. I can use you. You stay. 
with just only one victim today. Can't make a cake without a crack and a few eggs. That's right. That's right. That was probably pretty funny on your guys' end. Was that pretty funny on your end? <laughs> oh, sugar. Okay. Okay. So anyway, um, let me get a little thing I can mix in. Yeah, it's all cracked up. Oh gosh, but here's another hack. I have another hack. Let me get some water. Let me get some water. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know if you can zoom in or not. I hope you can. Um, okay, water. Egg shells. One. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's worked. It worked. Look at this. I didn't mean to flip you off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it worked. I got the egg shell out. Holy cow, it works. Okay, I'm going to have to do that intentionally next time so I can make a short. Uh oh, there's a little egg right there. Get over here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's awesome. I'm making a hack on it. Or I'm making a short on that one. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy. Okay, let me mix these eggs up. Okay, you guys are dangerous. You go over here. We only had one victim, so that's not that bad. Okay, so now in here goes in the middle the egg. Okay, right there in the middle. What do you guys think of that? When I was a kid, we made French bread pizza in the toaster oven with it. With what? Yes, yeah, so I got an egg chill in my egg. But now look at this. What do you guys think of this? This is cool. Wait till you see the cleanup. It's even better. All right. So now. Set you over here, bring you over here, and oh, where is it? When the last place I went. Okay, so these cutlets are pretty much um, are pretty even but I still need to tenderize them. And they're too, too thin for the, um, the scabber, so I'm gonna use this. Now she has all that egg on my hat. Silly. So I'm gonna use this side. Okay, that is nice and tenderized. Look at the size difference. Yeah, and so now the other victim. let it fall. Don't, you know, whack, whack. Just, you know, let it fall, you know, and then it, your palm of your hand will catch it. Just like that, you know, it's pretty simple. Oh, 
Okay. Before I cut one up, I want to, wait a minute, where's my, if you, instead of when you salt something and if you salt it like right up against it, you guys are going to get more compressed, a lot of concentrated salt. But if you do it up higher a little bit, you see that it fans out nicely. And then same with your pepper. Then do the same thing. Now, if you guys want a concentrator, you know, you can take it and still hold it from here and, you know, just give it a good shot, you know? How oh, Bubbles! Bubbles, how are you? How was school? I do need a drink. Let me get one. Okay. Let me, you guys don't let, let me forget to take out my French fries that I made the other day. I want to, um, they're raw, but I want to throw them in the thing. Hey, you guys, check this out. Watch this. There's my drink. You see that you guys know how accident prone I am. I did not. I took it out of the freezer, it. Okay, well, I'll show you that one next time. Um, one piece of saran wrap. Fold it in half. Okay. Hold on, Grace. Your door monitor is busy. I'll be right there. And then half again. Oops. See, that's what I get for not putting it in the freezer. And then half again, okay? So it's just like this, all right? Put it right over your cup. Then with a sharp knife, a small little slit in there. Gracie, oh. oh, it's wet, that's why. Okay. Okay, let me get my straw. My one cat, Mia, she has a fetish with the straws. Let me do this over, I don't like that. She has a fetish with straws. And so whenever I have a drink with a straw, she goes and takes it out. And so she's got about 19 million straws, but she has to have mine. Has to be mine. Okay. Gracie, hold on. Just hold on. Wait a second. I'm at the peak. I'm at the peak of the program. Okay, one more, oh, there's where, because it got wet right there. That's why it wasn't sticky. Okay, now, now you're sticky. You guys look, just a little dab, but you guys know how often I knock over my stuff all the time calamity. So, how do you like that? <laughs> okay, Gracie, hold on. Over here, doorbell, doorman. 
again. Over here. Are you coming in too? Okay, come on in. Oh, all three of you. Okay. Hi, noodles. Hi, hi. You guys know I'm cooking. Stop. Okay. So now let's get going on this. So now. And I just need to salt and pepper these. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Okay. Now cut this one up, you say. Or did you say cut this one up? <laughs> you love it grilled, yeah. Yeah, I like I like pork always. I like it anyway. But today I thought it would be fun because I wanted to show you my little trick there. Okay, this one. Getting cut into bite size so we're doing bite size pieces okay and i enjoy pork i really do i think it gets a really bad um it gets a bad rap in my in my humble opinion okay oh i did not get out my um can you guys move over there have a seat over there okay can you guys see not that great so this is what we're going to do Yes, you guys can see. You now you can see. Can you see all right? Did I set it up okay? And a flat piggy. Yes. That's right. This is where the magic happens. Okay, let me get my little thing out. Gracie, sorry. Okay, if you guys don't have one of these, thank you, Nikki, for letting me know that. I highly recommend that you get one of these, a little cool, little, little cooling rack, okay? And so let's do the big chancel first. So in the flower and panko, the flower, flower it. We're gonna flower it. Let me get my, where are my? Found them! I found them! Then in the egg. Egg mixture. Oops, come on. There we go. There we go. And now into the panko. See how nicely this works, you guys? This works so good. And the cleanup is just amazing. 
Yeah, it's just one swish, and then your cleanup is done. Your cleanup is done. Okay. All right. It is nicely. Let me show you guys. Yeah. And now, I'm going to put all of my little guys in there. All of my little piggies get in there. Okay. And then we'll take just a couple at a time. No noodles, you gotta wait. The egg acts as like, it's the glue. And the panko. Into the panko. Okay. Ah, come on. There we go. Flip you over. Flip you over. You guys. I am so hooked on, um, you know, and I don't want to say the name, um, but you guys will know what I'm talking about on um, the, you know, the, um, the guy that they just arrested and um, uh, the gazillionaire. And um, well, anyway, I'm, oh my gosh, I can't get enough of it. And the re not that I like it, it's just like I can't believe that it's going on and it's happening. It's like she's Louise. And um, there's this one channel called Jam Jamel, a.k.a. Jamal. And I really like him a lot. And so I watch mostly him. Okay. Because um, on my feed now, it, all it is is it's everything about that guy. But um, did uh, you're watching court shows? Yeah. Well, you know, every time I see a court show, because um, Kath is really big into true crime. And um, uh, Emily D. Baker crosses my feed all the time. And so, and I was thinking Kath when I see her because, you know, Kath watches her. And so I, um, I can't help but think of her, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. Okay. Some people say, oh, double flower it. No, that's too much, um, too much for me. I just like a little bit, you know here and there, and then boom, I'm good. Okay. Hold on, noodles. Hold on, girl. Don't worry. We'll be okay. I promise you. Just a second, Nunu. Take a break. Like all these things are. So, hey, guys, I can't see the chat right now. I'm too far. Plus, I don't know if you guys noticed that in my left eye is acting up. Um, I'm having some problems with it. So I'm hoping that it is not um, uh, my walleye coming back on from my MS. I hope to God that it is not, because then that is just a different live stream altogether. <laughs> Yeah, that, that would be me getting um, treatments all the time. And that's not fun. Is it, Kath? Okay. So now over to Panko. Yeah, I think that this is just such a great little, um, you know, hack here. I really do. I highly recommend it. Especially if you guys don't like to do dishes like me or if you don't like the cleanup like me. I, you know what, I'm so, so good at making the, the dishes, but I really stink at um, the cleanup. I'm not a good volunteer for the cleanup. I'll volunteer to cook, 
But clean up, no, I won't volunteer for that unless, you know, um, I haven't done my, I haven't pulled my weight, then I'll volunteer for it, you know. But um, I'm not the first one to volunteer. I'm the first one to volunteer to cook. Yeah. Because whoever cooks doesn't clean. So um, that's how it goes in, in my house. But right now it's a party of one. Bring it on. Okay. You guys look at all of these little bites. Okay. Everything is done. Boom. Boom. Watch this. Watch this, guys. All I have to do is just wash that out. How about that? And then here are these. These are ready to go. Your phone battery is about to go. Oh, Jane, that's very nice of you. Hey, Jane, it was really great to see you. Tomorrow, um, we won't have this problem. Yeah. Isn't that an amazing hack, Nikki Noodles? I think so. Okay. Now, time to cook these guys. And I can't bring you in here with me. I can't. Because, you know, of the cords. So. And, hi, Anne Cloutier. How are you, love? Thank you for being a member for nine months. Wow. I appreciate your memberships, you guys. I, I truly do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let's get these um, babies going, should we? At least a couple of the pork or the little ones, little guts. I think we should. Okay. Let me get a plate first. Is that not the best hack in the world? Gosh, such an easy cleanup. Tons. Hi, honey. How are you? Good to see you, too. I'm glad that you're here. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm going to get cooking because I want to show you. Um, there we go. So, yeah, I appreciate your memberships. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, um, okay, I'm ready. And then um, I'll do a couple at a time, and then I'll show you. Okay. Okay, we'll do three. Because you know what, you guys, this is this is not funny, haha, -ha, but it's funny, you know, you know what I mean. Um, that okay, I I'm a counter. That's what I call them. I a counter, and I I like the number three, and I count things divisible, and I make them divisible by three. Does that make sense? Does anybody else do that, or is that just my kind of quirk? I think it's my quirk. Anybody do that? Because, um, like, uh, signs down the road. I'll count. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, you're right, Don. It probably is, even though I haven't been um, diagnosed with OCD. Um, I do. And I've done it ever since I was a little girl. Of course you don't, Kath. <laughs> and <laughs> of course you don't, Nikki. It's just me. It's my thing. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. I've done it since I was a little girl. You know, I'll count like um, three, uh, three signs. Okay, there's one, two, and then three. Okay, I can rest. Okay, then, oh, one, two, and okay, three. Yeah. Kath is, Kath is bad at math. 
Uh, I'm bad at math too. <laughs> right, right. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, you guys, these are looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. Okay. Almost done for about three minutes. Three minutes each. You don't want to overdo them. That's that's tr that's the truth. Because um, pork, it will dry out really fast, and you don't want it to dry out. And having it this way is um, the best way to where it won't dry out. So. Here's our little ones. I lost one. <laughs> oh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, you guys, and so let me get some of these. And a little bit of coleslaw on the side. And then later I'll make my french fries. See? I, yummy. Let me take a, let me get a bite in front of you. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Hot flash. Hot flash. Bring it on. Bring on the hot flash. Sticky. No, no, I didn't get, no, it didn't land on my keys. I didn't get sticky keys, Kath. Okay. This is how I like it with a little bit of coleslaw on top. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be hot, I can tell. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Love it. <clears throat> Cree. This is good, you guys. Mm -hmm. mm. It's really good. Oh, mm. my nails. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's okay, Cree. <laughs> it just kind of made me go, what? Um, my nails are from Kath. I keep my nails short. And so I like, I love the color street because Kath sells them. And they're, they're, you stick them on and you go and it is, 100% nail polish and you can like get it done and it's fast. It's really, it's really good. I love them. I love them. And they'll last me weeks, weeks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Martin Nessie. Okay. I'm going to have another one because this is, this coleslaw is so good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, these are perfect. Mm. You can make another tin foil hot. You guys, I'm really loving this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry to eat in front of you. <laughs> mm. 
Mm, you guys. So anyway, mm, that coleslaw is delicious, even though I made it an hour ago. Oh, it's still so good. Mm -hmm. I need to need to deep fry. Cree, remember that hack when you guys do. Remember that because that is a great thing to do. And um, thank you, Anne. It was really good. And put on my, um, uh, if you go to my homepage, it will automatically play for you. And so you guys can watch it again and see it from a different angle. And that might be good. Yeah. Hi, Elena. Good to see you. Yeah. Well, you guys, I'm taking off now because my foot, I really can't. I shouldn't be standing on it this long. So anyway, I had a good time with you all. And I will have it fixed by tomorrow. And we're going to do it right. Okay, guys. Much love to all of you. Be good humans. Uh, Bye, Bubbles. Bye, Cree. Bye, Dawn. Oh, Dawn, that's sweet. Good night. Good night. Bye, Nikki. Big hugs to you. Mm, I will, Elena. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Love you too. Love you all. Kath, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I want to check up on you, see how you guys are doing. Okay, we'll take care. Bye, guys.